hello and welcome to another video today we look at rtx linux with the gnome desktop and to begin what i have here is a rtx linux with a kde plasma desktop so we are going to begin by installing the gnome desktop on this version of rtx linux remember rtx comes in various desktop environments but there is no official release for the gnome desktop version so open your terminal and we begin by running system updates so run sudo pacman syu to update your system once the update is done go back again and type sudo pacman s gnome input your password and let it install so as you can see here we have several packages that come with the gnome let's install just all of them so just press enter and allow it to install all the packages all right so we can see the download size here is about 179 mb let's give it a little bit of time to install uh, in a previous video where i looked at rtx linux we saw that it's based on Arch and it's a rolling release distro. It's systemd free and um, instead of systemd it comes with uh, either OpenRC, RUnit, S6 or DNIT and for my case I downloaded the OpenRC version with the KD Plasma desktop. I think GNOME has already finished downloading, it's just installing. Uh, let's give it a little bit of time and I believe it's done now once it is done let's log out and get into the gnome desktop so now in the login page you can see just below password we have plasma x11 selected so from here just select the arrow and select gnome on xog and input password so this is what you're greeted with and the first thing you get is welcome to kg pg assistant well you can continue and set up this one i do not need it so let's explore the gnome desktop on rtx linux first things first let's check out the overview and on the dock here we get the usual gnome applications we have the gnome web calendar music file manager and this is the gnome file manager let's check and the details and you can see it's gnome project 47 so what we have here is the gnome desktop version 47 which is the latest and then we also have the gnome software the text editor and uh, the app drawer now on the app drawer you get the usual gnome apps we have uh, videos gnome system monitor let's open this one and keep it open to track how our system is performing you can see the cpu usage is not that high and then in terms of ram and swap there's no swap uh, my ram is used 1.2 gb so let's keep it in the background and now if we go back to the app drawer we also have a norm extensions falcon browser this one is from the kde side we also have the file the UNA file manager kate text editor now let's open the terminal in this case the console and let's run neofetch or rather fast fetch i haven't installed neofetch so the os is rtx linux as you can see the packages is pacman linux kernel is the same 6.11.3 and the desktop environment is gnome 47 and the terminal is console all right so this terminal remember is from the kde side let's go to settings and see more about the system so here is under appearance we have the bright and the dark theme and it keeps on crashing i'm not sure why so let's move to something else before it crashes okay so let's go to the about section let's see system and in the about section we have the rtx linux rogue right here the name and the system details below here we can see 
the name of the OS rolling release 64 bit and it's GNOME 47 with X11 and the kernel right there. Okay. Now let's head back to the app drawer. Just before we head back to the app drawer, let's launch the GNOME web. Looks like it's opening perfectly and it's asking for us to set it as default browser. Uh, if we proceed to the details about the GNOME web, so that browser is okay. Now, back to the app drawer, let's look at the software, GNOME software. And this one, in terms of uh, about it, we can see still GNOME 47.1. And uh, software repositories, we can see it comes with flat packs. Now, I'm not a big fan of flat packs. I'd rather install from AUR of, or from Pacman. I don't like the flat packs, so disable that one. If you want it, you can still keep it. And the preferences, you can choose to either have automatic updates or manual and automatic update notifications if you need them. So that's the GNOME Software Center. So how stable is this desktop? We saw that uh, when we open the settings and uh, appearance, the system, system settings seems to keep on crashing so that's not a good sign but other than that i haven't experienced any other problem the cpu usage is still uh, low ram is still just 1.4 gb and there's no swap uh under normal extensions we have uh, the list of extensions that are pre-installed together with the gnome desktop you can choose to enable them or leave them so let's leave that one be and finally i found the gnome console remember we saw earlier that console from the kd plasma side so this is the gnome terminal let's run fast fetch a little quick and see fast fetch and it's the same information and where it says the terminal it's the gnome console 47.1 great now can we change this wallpaper I think that's where we go to GNOME appearances and it's where the system keeps on crashing. Oh, we have wallpapers from GNOME. I hope it doesn't, it just crashed again. So you're gonna have to deal with that one if you choose to install the GNOME desktop on RTX Linux. Basically that's GNOME desktop for you on RTX Linux. Let's see if I can change the wallpaper one final time before it crashes. Yeah. It does that again so what do you think guys do you like uh, the look of gnome desktop on rtx linux share your thoughts in the comment section below make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel